By the way, I fumbled the ball hardcore last week, but we'll get into that in a minute. Welcome to the Positive Podcast. I think this is episode 35, question mark. Oh, isn't our one year coming up? Our one year is coming up, and guess what day it is? Hitler's birthday! Woo! Woo! Yeah! 420! I thought you were just going to deny me for a second. I was like... We have to really hit a nice 420 special this year. A nice year-long tradition... (laughs) Going to someone's like dark, decrepit hole and well, talking. That would be a good one year podcast. <laughs> quitting. <laughs> quitting the, quitting the podcast. Come so far. <laughs> it's only a couple inches in my metric. Which a is a lot. inches is a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's you're pretty pretty getting into it. Far. But no, uh, I think we got to release it on 420, so does that mean we have to do it like a week in advance and just pretend? At least a day. Yeah. I We should get a cake, and it just says, happy happy 420, and it's a picture of Hitler on it. Like a screen-printed <laughs> cake. I think the funniest thing we could do is a podcast where we only use the equipment we used on our first podcast. The Blue Yeti and my <laughs> yeah. shitty laptop. Like we have to go back to your old apartment. Yeah. We have to break into the lock pick. We have to lock pick, and there's some old lady. And we're like, move! We need that fan on. We need the fan on without the light bulbs working. <laughs> I need to electrocute myself again. And then we're not going to release this episode because it's basically the first one. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. I forget about that. Yeah. So the first podcast we ever did, we didn't release because I just talked about dick cheese. Like for it was bad. 20 minutes. It was really bad. And it was awful. Like but. we've said, uh, if we ever get enough attention here, Patreon exclusive. That's the first episode you fuckers get. Oh, yeah. All 30 of you, baby. Yep. And then we're going to just do movie reviews on Patreon and nothing else. That would actually be kind of good. Actually. <laughs> I've thought about doing a commentary track. Potential. Potential. I think with me yeah, not be being able to watch that. movies, that'd be awful. Can you imagine? It would be your recount like of the movie. Which would just like not have paid attention, you know, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be like I watched Alvin and the like, Chipmunks with me again. Do you want to hear hilarious. my? You literally just today were like, do you want to hear my retelling of Cyberpunk seventy seven? Yeah, twenty seventy seven. <laughs> I played three hours of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven today. Bastard. I had nothing better to do with my life. My PC's dead. It won't work now. It's overheating. Oh, so you were even playing it on console? I was playing it on the PS five. <laughs> And let me tell you, stinker. It st- feels so bad. I to finally play. got Keanu Reeves though, so it was pretty cool. I finally got Keanu Reeves. So yeah, that fucking blue ass. And I was sitting in there. I'm like, oh, you want to hear the story? And I'm like, there's a Chinese guy. He's your friend, and then your friend gets capped, and then you go and you get shot by big black man. And I was calling him every like fast food burger. <laughs> and I couldn't remember his name, so I was like, his name's Deluxe. And then I was like, no, Big Mac. And I was like, what about his name? With the golden he arm. said McDouble yeah. or something. And then, and then I called him McDouble, and then I was like, what about Whopper? <laughs> I literally don't know what he's called. I don't know either. And then he gets killed by some Chinese dude, and he's like, I need your help for mm-hmm. a mission or whatever. And then you're like, oh, fuck <laughs> it. You can go do whatever. <sighs> That so, game sucks ass. People who yeah. say they fixed it, no. you have the lowest standards. Below I mean, the Rachel. game is like playable, but it's not fun. Playable. Exactly. Like, like, yeah, there's not as many bugs, but it's just like the base game is bad. Half the time I'm sitting in a cutscene, and then that time where I'm playing the game, the gunplay is absolutely so, it It's the worst. Like nothing. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing Minecraft, like, or no, no, no. No, no Minecraft. No. Well, I'm playing fucking Roblox Survival Simulator with like an AK 47. It feels like Fallout 3, but even worse. Somehow. Yeah, somehow. There's no vats. Yeah. So, what am I supposed to do? It's awful. And, like, maybe the game would be fun with mods, but, like, base game, there's no chance. I'm not Whoever playing Whoever was like, yeah, in this future cyberpunk world, we don't need car chases. There should never be a way for a car to chase you in this game. Never. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> never, dude. They can't do Tron. No. They can do uh, all of the Matrix, but they can't do Tron. I know. What the fuck? They can do some little goblin guy living in your brain, nibbling at your brain cells and taking over your mind, but they can't do Tron. They can't the get on a, a bike. The idea of a car following you is yeah. just too much. The idea of a car with cool lights going... The police have to just teleport in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, that's, wait, slow down. That's kind of oh, like real life. Fun. That's kind of really like real life, though. Yeah. That's, that's what it feels like. Because everyone, in case you don't know this, 
the police have established sleeper agents that live in your very population for anyone you know might just be a cop ready to kill you at any moment. I started reading fruit cocktail. The fruit's not a bit. It is a bit. It's not. It's a bit now. It's not funny. The fruit is funny. It's not funny. The fruit is funny. It's a stinker of a bit. We're eating. What is the punchline? What is the We're funny eating part? fruit cocktail on the podcast. That's what's funny. That would work if the podcast had any standards, but this podcast sucks. But why does anything work then? Are our standards posting a short about a fart and getting on a playlist <laughs> for 700 views of some guy jerking off to me farting? Let me see if I can work one up. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, if it was That'd like a can of beans, views. that would be better. What's up? If it was beans, it would be better. Because then fart would happen. I didn't have beans. All well, I had was fruit cocktail. <laughs> that fart would smell sweet. Oh, oh like brown that'd be sugar. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah. You ever baked with one of those? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like fermented it. fruit. That's exactly what it's going to smell like. It's like Ooh, fermenting. Yeah. Oh, if you don't poop for like 30 days after you eat fruit, does that turn into what? Can I eat your. Can you eat somebody's feces and it. Get you drunk? Turn that poop into wine. I want to say yes. I want to say that would ferment. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least I think you, just... you know what? Well, I mean, like Fuck you, modern just, you science. can ferment anything, right? So yeah. if you just like shit in a jar and ferment it and drink it, you're going to like because I know there's a whole thing where like you. pumpkins that rot from Halloween ferment over just natural time and then squirrels will eat them and get drunk which is hilarious (laughs) i like squirrels we uh we had pumpkins outside of our house not pumpkins they were were gourds pumpkins i said pumpkins i said pumpkins it's okay go ahead i said it's okay you're retarded it's okay (laughs) go ahead honey Idiot. No, I just I. Lo- Why uh, are you? I wasn't making fun of you. You I just, stupid no. dog. <laughs> oh, no. I turned to Eustace. <gasps> oh, a little fruit on the crotch never hurt nobody. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, we had pumpkins out front of our house from Halloween that we got with you. It was like, oh yeah, late September. We still have them. They stayed outside. <laughs> Until I think March first, I want to say it was like literally a week or two, and they didn't rot. They didn't look rotten. They were still like solid to the touch, but then the bottom of them was just leaking. Oh, one day we came home and there was just a stream coming from like. <laughs> Did you the drink porch. it? No, I, I didn't. Even, I was just too afraid to smell it. I didn't want to let her know, but I did get down on the floor and lick up some of that off the concrete, Punk, like a little pumpkin Labrador juice? with your piss pumpkin pool. Juice? Not pumpkin juice. That's a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I promise. Yeah, you're my little baby. Oh, I'm Simon's little baby. Mm, you're Simon's little punkin. Simon's little pumpkin. <laughs> Simon's, little pumpkin. <laughs> Simon's dirty little pumpkin. My <laughs> little pumpkin. <laughs> my little goblin pumpkin. <laughs> You'd be a yellow one. Can I please be a green-skinned little ghoul? Okay. You Thank you. A green bump. And you got warts all I over I got you. warts all over <laughs> me. Some of them were scabbing over because I keep yeah. scratching at them is too Jared much. Is Jared the giant-ass pumpkin or is he the tiny little one? He's like an average one, I feel. No, I'm one of those misshapen red ones that are like all Ooh. bumpy. And the one that kind of looks like a ball sack? Yeah. <laughs> and every girl goes up and goes, this one's so unique. And then they <laughs> almost get it. And ah. then at the very end, they see just a normal pumpkin and, and take that like, one and stuff. That one looks right. I think I want one that's not an abomination. I really liked when we went... Uh, and look, they have like the really dark green ones that just look like a fucking witch. I was like, <laughs> ew, nasty, gross. Oh, that's ew. what a German woman turns into oh. if you leave them out in the sun. <laughs> yeah. You know uh, Hansel and Gretel? Yeah, that's yeah. their story. That's them. <laughs> they just went to a pumpkin patch. Yeah, they are pumpkins. <laughs> they were scared of the way the pumpkins looked at them, so they had to write a story about it. And you know what's so great? Great. We always so great. We always so great. I say pumpkins. Say pumpkins. <laughs> No! Ah! Uh, <laughs> but you know what's great is that thing you about like the 1600s. Like every white person that was walking around had to be scared of everything. Oh yeah. You go up to like an apple tree. And be, oh! I'm like what? The, what is that? Like then <laughs> apple fell off the tree, and he was like, No! No! What the hell? Oh, and some freak, probably an ancestor of you, was like, I'll fucking eat it. Yeah. Give me three bucks. Yeah, I'll he was eat like, it. No! Don't, don't, don't eat the plants. Those are gross. Oh! <laughs> he got sick off that one. Don't eat that one. No! 
shout out to the hundreds of people we lost finding out what mushrooms we can eat. You or know not. how like that one dude got. <laughs> hit. I'll be the next one. He got Damn hit it. in the head by a by a apple, and that's how Sir he discovered Isaac Newton gravity. Right? That's actually not real. Yeah, isn't they it? discovered gravity before they discovered that they could eat apples. Yeah, these guys are literally <laughs> retarded. They were like, "I've never seen one of those fall before. What the hell? <laughs> this is They're something like, new. That must be gravity. <laughs> <laughs> this is something new right Just here. I ain't never seen a banana. I've like seen it in practice. I think yeah. there is something. How the fuck did bananas happen? Because we grew from like little <laughs> sea monkeys or whatever. But what transformed from a plant Aren't to a banana tree? Aren't they genetically? They're genetically modified to taste. So like sweeter. our bananas, yeah. we yeah. 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 No, but I'm talking like OG, like plantains. That happened like back in ones. back in like the 50s or whatever. They used to be different. I don't really know how though. But yeah, I heard that like they just fucked it all up to grow oh, in like, the United that. States. Dude, I wish we did that nowadays. Could you imagine what shit Chick Fil A would have, have if you we seen? let no. them go wild? No, they we do go wild. Washington <laughs> University put out an apple called the Cosmic yes. Crisp, and, and that shit an, is fucked. You do not. You, I, I, it has taste. enough sugar they're to all. be preserved for ten years. Oh, they're so good though, dude. They are. Oh, they're the best apple I've ever eaten in my life. But it is. <laughs> I I feel like I'm gonna die when I eat one of those because I'm like, oh, I know this is probably worse this than just like twelve Snickers. This is like smoking a pack of Marlboro Reds. Like every time I bite into one of these, my teeth are falling out and I'm just like, oh, but you can put it in a closet for 10 years and it will be fine. They'll be fine. They're like the backstock of apples will live on the, po- the population will live off of that. You know, those are like, the worst humans ever. You know, those like faggot ass raw fruit vegans. They're going to love that shit. Like Nick Akato. <laughs> Look at him now. He wouldn't be like, no, not again. Put it in some cheese. <laughs> Nick a noodles. Nick a noodle. Can we get a sensor? <laughs> no, because we're quoting Nick Akata avocado. It's not us. There's a, did we explain it? Can There's you a imagine? Nick Akata bit where he says, <laughs> Nick a noodle. And. It sounds See, by the way, inappropriate. I, I tried to find that clip. It's nuked off. Oh, really? I, he struck every one of those videos down. They're I have gone. to imagine he knew what he was doing. Oh, right? Yeah, they're gone. He was like, I can't have that anymore. I, mean, I have to get a real job eventually. <laughs> one day. What he's gonna, the fuck could he do? He's going to have to be a secretary. The Walmart <laughs> cashier who sits at the conveyor He's belt. He's overnight <laughs> stalker at Schnucks. Yeah. I Can don't you think ima- he could do that. <laughs> Can no, you imagine? I don't you go either. into the doctor's <laughs> office and Nick Akata's behind there. How can I help you today, sweetie? Oh, you know he'd the- be one of those nurses that types yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> The fat fingering every key. Oh, sorry. Give me one second. I got to write down your information. How do you spell that? It's Jared three R's. Okay. <laughs> Is there an O in there somewhere? Are you like the Bible Jared or like the Jared Jared? Which You're one? like a J-Rod. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like a J-Rod or are you like a J-Rid? Like a red. Or like a, like a, with an I. Like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe an OI and a Jeroid. That'd be cool. Geroid, <laughs> oh, that'd be sick go. as fuck, dude. If I was Jeroid, <laughs> damn. Like, you get huge. That's yeah, crazy. I would just naturally be giant. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> I go to the gym and people would be cowering. Wouldn't that be a good story? Like if all throughout high school you were just ripped and you'd be like, everyone used to make fun of me and call me Jeroid, so I had to get really fucking skinny so everyone would stop making fun of me. I had to gain three hundred pounds of pure fucking fat. To get out of this one. <laughs> now they stop calling me Jeroid and just call me fat bitch. Now they call me lard ass. <laughs> it doesn't sound as good. There's a different type of timbre to it, but I I, I like it in a different way. <laughs> it kind of there might be a fetish for that one or something. <laughs> my milkers just get giant. You become the first man to lactate pure grease. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god. One time when I was a kid I was browsing a website oh, we a can search talk. engine. <laughs> And there was a video that made me th- – the thumbnail alone was enough. And it was a dude with nipples that were like four inches long and hard as fuck. And <laughs> like, they were like giant good. like pepperoni slices. They looked like little turkey pepperonis. <laughs> And I, I, I click on this video, fuck. and it's just him going, oh, yeah, daddy's got to milk him. And he's going, and flexing his chest and squirting milk out of his nipples as a man because he took so much, like, st- I, I don't know exactly what happened, but my, like, uh, my, uh, initial, <laughs> my initial thought now is maybe he fucked, like, his hormones up with steroids because he was jacked. Is that how that works? Or he's trans. Did he? Oh, uh, probably... Probably trans, then steroids. Because he was huge. I guess we have to watch it. Uh, yeah, we got to find this video again. If anyone knows uh, the gray-haired man lactating 
out of his nipples. Greater. Please let me know. Possibly, Wait, was man? he like old? Yeah, he was old. He was like 50. Probably 60 years old. Well, now I'm really confused. Was uh, it hot, though? I can't speak on what like 13-year-old me was jerking off Was to. it really uh, hot? Did you think it was hot? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> was, no. Was I, was, I was really hoping you'd be like... No, but deep down. Oh God, fifteen minutes. No, dude, this Jesus is good. Though. Oh, something fucking smells. That was my burp. I. Oh. I'm sorry. I rancid burp. God, everybody. that is rancid. Yeah. There is no better descriptor. Yeah. Woo. Descriptor. Um, actually, it would be description. Got him. Descriptor word. Nice. <laughs> nice. You found the roundabout around that one. I did. That's all I do all day is just find ways to get around saying the N-word. I'm like, oh, it's a roundabout way to say it. Oh, look, Nick, Nick Akato said it first. It's okay. I'm going to live my whole life just going, no, I can say it because he said it first. Like, I, I, Everyone like, thinks he's a black guy you're talking about. Like, you, Kramer you like, from Seinfeld said it, so I, I, said, I was quoting him. You, you guys like stuttered. Seinfeld, right? You stuttered and me and Simon looked at each other in fear. We were like... <laughs> waiting for me to drop it. <laughs> I already had to bleep the end of the, like two episodes ago. I had to just straight cut the end of the episode because I was like, Man, no, what? what were you like? I was like, Man, no, oh! and then it had to cut. What specifically? Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All that picked up was. No, that was definitely talking the whole time. I just had to cut it out. Yeah, we've got try to really read my lips. Audio editing. There's some dumb fucker out there who's like, "Oh, I'm a professional sign language interpreter. I can read lips." Yeah, I know what he's saying, and they're just gonna like type every slur they can think of. <laughs> <laughs> well, for that to happen, someone would have to leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> we've gotten a couple. Okay, we've gotten a couple. I saw, I saw, uh, gnome dumb. We responded to some <laughs> on a video like four months old. So I went through on our little channel statistics and, you know, as a new YouTuber, you comment on your own stuff because that's just, you, I mean, you have to get some type of engagement for YouTube to push you. And that's just how it works. Like you just have to do something. You have to do something. So you get an army of 120 Chinese Yeah, 120 bots. bot accounts from India and China and Pakistan. You have this to treat, joke, Susan. you have to switch up the different, you have to switch up the different countries so they don't catch on to you. And use they, Express they, VPN. Do not, do not let them be in the United States of America. So after you do that, then you can comment in your own language. Mm-hmm. That's an important part. What you want part. to say in their language and then Google Translate it. That's the same. No, but we went back and I was like, oh, we didn't respond to these comments because as a creator, you have to respond to like every comment or whatever to like get your engagements up. And so I was like, shit, Simon commented on this video four months ago. And so I responded to his comment. It's like two in the morning and I see Gnome Dome responded to you. I get a message from <laughs> the Gnome Dome email and my personal email. Wait a like, second. Is that fuck? what you said is a hate mail? The, 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 not the hate mail, but like the hate comment? No, we got a different hate comment. Oh, did we? Yeah, on oh, TikTok. Okay, Hold that's, on. I was like, you pranked me hard fucking court because no, I really no. thought that that was like no, not. No, I'm get pranked. You. I just lied. I'm gonna look this. <laughs> I'm gonna look at our TikTok yeah. and I'm gonna show you this hate comment. I'm gonna put you on blast, you piece of shit, <laughs> you 12 year old motherfucker. Is it another Michael Odell? It's another Mike. Oh my god, that wasn't our first then. We had this guy named Michael Odell. Yeah. And he was How do you on forget him. He was on our Hot Wheels video and he was just talking mad smack on us. No, I thought what? it was a podcast episode. No, it was Hot Wheels. I really? Thought. Or was it a podcast? Because I thought he was like, I just wanted to listen to something nice. And yeah, I hear these right. young men with their rancid tongues. With their dirty language yeah. and rancid breath. <laughs> Whoever calls this entertainment is truly yeah. a fool. And then I put him on blast in the Hot Wheels video. That's yeah. what it was. And we put his, like the screenshot of his profile. I assumed it on his face. It's just some old white guy. Like it was um, so surreal. We thought it had to be like one of our friends, but then we remembered we don't have any friends who watch this. So this guy Daw Sanders, he has Daw. a car, a car profile picture, right, no followers, no likes, no posts. He comments on our Spotify, uh, on our on our TikTok about sunning your butthole, which is a good video. Like that that's one, a pretty good. That's bit. a good short. We got remixed. This motherfucker, the first comment we get, it says, I sun my asshole and increase my muscle mass by 30%. Okay, that's pretty funny. Right? I like that one. Yeah, that's That was a good good. one. The next guy, Daw Sanders, this piece of shit, says, (laughs) fucking weaklings die. (laughs) (laughs) And and I'm like, 
Okay, how I don't do you know why. To that, I'm like, I don't even know how to respond because it's such an inconsequential post that that's, why would he be so mad? That's like the uh, shut up brand. Like, yeah. how do you come back? I had some yeah. venom behind it, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking, fucking mad. Kitty's got claws. <laughs> and I was like, he didn't put a comma after it, so I'm like, okay, dude, the weaklings die. Are you telling us like you guys are fucking weaklings die? So I couldn't really tell. But then it says, and then I respond, only weaklings die from sunning their chocolate starfish. Because oh, I'm like, get good. a Limp Biscuit reference in there, and yeah. I don't know how to respond. Yeah, no, that's fair. It actually wasn't me. It was our goblin friend. Yeah, oh, what's we a goblin hire name? someone. He looks like a, what's goblin a goblin from name? Harry Potter. Borg. Okay, we're getting something, Borg. but I'm still not happy with it. Okay, we'll talk about this later. It Sorry, no, we're B, not possibly. We're not going to argue on the podcast about no, this. No, that's okay. inappropriate. This after we actually have an MMA ring set up in my basement now, <laughs> that we go over there and beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> it's really <laughs> weird. We mostly just all three beat the shit out of Elsa. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Elsa, yeah. you're gonna do good. And, this then, time. and then Rachel. <laughs> And then Rachel will come in and she's like, oh, God, I've trained in every single fighting style and beats the shit out of everyone. That's why she can't be on the podcast anymore. She That's died. why there's an empty seat there every <clears throat> week. I farted. Nice one. Dude, sick. I didn't make any noise, though. Mm. Um, yeah, but fucking I don't know how to respond to, like... Die. I think... Uh, I think <laughs> <laughs> fucking weakling I'm going to use that in our D&D <laughs> campaign. <laughs> Speaking of our D&D campaign, <gasps> okay, we need to start talking about my little character. So, I... Triple A. <laughs> triple A, Alkaline, Energizer, whatever you want to call me. Andreas Amarantha Atkinson is a deep, a deep gnome who deep gnome. comes from... They're black, right? I mean, it's yes. just like canonically deep gnomes are black. They dark. are black. They are They're dark black. little gnomes. And I'm a deep gnome who comes from, uh, hails from a, 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 a deep, a deep seated <laughs> race of, of kenku hunters, which are basically bird people. Well, you're not necessarily from it. Just deep gnomes in this world have been. Yeah, but me, not really. I, I'm yeah. the little jester of this campaign. I'm the a fool, fucking dumbass at all times. Is essentially my entire purpose is just to be a dumb cunt and <laughs> fuck everything up all the time, and it's hilarious. And <laughs> a character I designed to be possibly the most racist thing I could make up. He's just like a little tiny deep black gnome. He's like three feet tall. He looks like Beetlejuice, they but them. yeah, they <laughs> them. Sorry, he's also uh, a, a, a a gendered or whatever it's called. He's non-binary. The non-binary. Sorry, I'm, respect their pronouns. I didn't even know what the fuck it was called. I'm a. I thought dumbass. it was a female going to non-binary, and you keep calling him he. I don't know anymore, dude. It it's a fudanari. It's got a dick <laughs> and a vagina underneath it, but no balls. No that's balls. Fucking that's gay. fucking gay if they have balls, but they can still come. Yeah. Yeah, they can oh, still they bust. come. Yeah, they, they come. What? But that's where the beautiful operatic voice comes from. <laughs> yeah, Andreas. <laughs> but I'm a little known, and I basically just go running around fucking shit up for everybody. And I made the character as racist as I possibly could. He sure did. And like all, I, the only thing I'm good at doing is stealing. That's it. That's the only thing my character's good at doing. You're good at shooting too. Yeah, I'm good at shooting because I'm the only one with a gun. It doesn't mean I'm good at it. it just you means... fucking took someone out with it. I did rail somebody in the fucking skull with it though, which mm. is pretty sweet. I saved somebody with that, didn't I, too? Late. Oh, I can't say. But anyways, yeah. yeah. So I made this racist little gnome character, and we're playing with someone who might not. A few people. I a few say. people who might not like. Um, Racial stereotypes. Being funny in the, in <laughs> in my sense. <laughs> racism. Um, the, yeah, the yeah we'll just go racism. right for racism, sexism. Uh, ooh, All of the one? isms Classism. and phobias. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, phobias of any type of people that aren't exactly like me, uh, especially ooh, especially xenophobia. Oh, that one's a big. That was a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but and it's so funny to like watch me do something fucked up, and like me and you were looking at each other going, <laughs> and Elsa's right there like <laughs> in between us, and everyone we, else is going, and everyone else is going, because Rachel's a little rat bastard. She'll do the whole. And then the moment everyone else has gone, oh, that shit was hilarious, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rachel will not laugh at me doing it. And then the second everyone else is gone, she's like, that was so funny. 
And she like has to get her laugh out afterwards. <laughs> Which I think might be funnier than laughing in the moment because the whole time you have to be like, and it's been like two hours. No one even remembers. And it's like, that moment you stole a book was so good. That moment you stole a book and said you couldn't read it was really funny <laughs> because the education system didn't support you. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. Oh, yeah, you that's what it was. No. Uh, but yeah. uh, there's one time I just dropped a hardcore fag in the middle of the in the middle of the day, and I thought I was gonna get chastised. It I was, fit your character. It fit well, my character because we were in the middle of a normal conversation. Everyone and I, took that surprisingly well. Yeah, I think I was, it was because it was just so sudden. I, what were we doing? You were the, talking to the mayor. Oh my god, yeah, I was talking to the mayor of a town and he wouldn't give us our money because we won a tournament. Mm. And I was like, alright, listen here, you fucking faggot. And I was like, oh, you can't say, oh, no. They're gonna get me now. I'm gonna get fucking the cops. No. And so everyone was like, you realize it too, like as soon as it left. It was like you can tell the moment you started in your eyes. You could see where you already realized. Like, I, went, I fucked up, but I, I went, have to finish. I went, fuck, and I was like, oh. Everyone took it. I think everyone was feeling the same sentiment at yeah. that moment. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was mad already, luckily. But then it was like, I had to be like, oh, they're going to be mad at me now. I, that was like in character, me. guys. I'm not homophobic. I'm not actually like that at That's all. That's just triple A, dude. Yeah, triple That's just A. how they are. Respect. You can call me alkaline, motherfucker, because I'd be a battery. Do we want to talk about triple A's death? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, the death of triple A. Untimely death. I was the first death. Full on the- death. The first full-on death of the entire Three campaign. people got knocked out <laughs> It makes so much sense that it was you. I had just sniped a bird <laughs> human. With a glicky. With a glicky. The only person with a gun. I just fucking popped the cap in its ass. Riding on horseback, mm. headshot it. It topples mm. over. One shot. Done. Well, it was more like it had been stabbed eight times. And don't you don't okay, discredit me. Don't I'm discredit sorry. my only achievement, okay, please. My life is nothing without that. Well, your life ended soon after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it came back. Don't worry. Oh, spoilers. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Cut that out. Oof. 27 minutes. Write it down. Write it down. But we had three people get knocked unconscious. The first two rolled nat 20s to stabilize. And of course, triple A right away. I think like first roll to see the first saving roll to say to, to so Not if you one. don't know how D and D works, you have to saving throw to like wake yourself back up after being knocked down. And so if you don't do that, you die. Like you get three chances and you die. Or if you roll in that one on a twenty sided die, which is hard to do, a one in twenty chance. Yeah, by actually. the way. You die instantly. On my first saving throw, I'm like, this is going to go bad. I already know. I'm laughing already. I'm like, oh, no. Triple A's like, gone. I have these little tiny dice, which I think are very funny. And I throw Smaller it down. than a penny. It didn't even roll. Like, it, it literally <laughs> just, just, it, like, hit and stuck. And I was like, oh, it's a no. I rolled a one. Uh-huh. I start, like, I'm like, no. I'm already, like, <laughs> laughing about it, though, because I think it's so funny. <laughs> and Simon's just going, oh. <gasps> oh, 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 I did like, not expect anyone to die. Yeah, I was like, the, probably the like, one, not even the hardest battle we'll go to. I'm already no, dying and screaming. You've on already the floor. died. I'm like, oh, this is a bad time. It's a sign of things to come. Yeah, it's. I just also love. He does get revived because of yeah. some cleric spell that costs three hundred gold. <laughs> and I love the idea of you're sitting there dead. Can I have? Can I have some money, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> please, one more theft. One more theft. Please, just 300 gold. It's like not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, please. Ah, please. Ah. And I was like, I'll pay it back. And I didn't. So <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Will. They're never, they're never going to mention it again. So I'm not going to. I'm going to keep my gold as long as I can. No, that's fair. Yeah. I'm, I'm Shekel in this one. Yeah, Shekelstein? Yeah, I'm a little Shekelstein. Yeah, I love that D&D campaign. That's so, so funny. funny, dude. I could go on for an hour and a half about the dumb shit that I've already done. And we've only had like... We've only made it maybe five sessions. maybe ten percent of the way through the campaign in like thirty hours. Yeah, at this point, I think there's so many things I look in my notes and I'm like, if we want to finish like within this year, I need to cut this and this. Oh, this. <laughs> Don't. Well, the problem is also like we meet up like maybe once a month now because everyone's We've like, been doing oh, pretty like, good. Well, maybe this week I'm just not gonna. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's why I'm like always texting like on Monday. I'm like, hey. This week, are we How's good? it looking? How's it looking? Because I want to, like, plan my week ahead. Because I hate, like, getting to Sunday, and it's, like, 4 p.m., like, yeah. two hours before I'm supposed I'm to sorry, leave. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to – your entire plans for the whole afternoon. I'm just like, oh, I'm like, no. Or when someone cancels, it's like, we only have, like, five people. Yeah, it's hard to really go yeah. on, yeah. 
we should just add eight more people. Again. And then if anyone doesn't show up, just like, oh, well. See, that's what I thought. We would have one more person, and then that person would be able to serve us. Like, well, if we miss something, kind of we're good or whatever. to go. Yeah, yeah. And then that person just never made it. And it's like, oh, fuck. No, that does suck. Yeah, because I was like, oh, we're supposed to have it all. So I thought, I was like, there's somebody else. That's what, and then I was like, oh, I guess not. Okay, that's cool. I we keep, should just invite anyone. Just like I keep getting people where it's like, oh yeah, I would love to. And then the moment I'm like, how does this work? Oh, oh. My Actually, favorite thing about busy. the D and D yeah. campaign right now is that because of what creature I am, and because of what another person can do with their body, they can disguise themselves. I just get dragged a lot of places against my will. <laughs> you get stuck. Elaborate, elaborate you get stuck. <laughs> There's a shapeshifter. There is a shapeshifter in our changeling, midst. changeling, if you will. And I am one of the bird people. Oh, a changeling. Does uh... that... Oh, that's making my nose grow a little bit. Did you say change? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's uh, in character. That's in that's character. That's not character. Sure. Character. Character. I'm, I'm method acting right now. Yeah. Hey, what's really, good, my... <laughs> you did a really good job. <laughs> I've been doing a good job uh, my whole life. Yeah. There's a, I, I am Kenku and uh, the main bad guys are mostly guy. Kenkus. Yeah, but I'm like the one good one. That we think so. Far. Somewhat. And there's a changeling who keeps changing into a Kenku and saying, "Hey, other Kenku, come with me, and we'll go do these awful things that you don't want to do and that can get you killed, but you have to because you're a Kenku. But if you decide to leave, that's meta gaming, meta gaming. Okay, that would have been meta gaming. No, no, time. because I saw I li we literally walked past you guys, and what was gonna be my original plan was to go back and tell you guys and grab you guys that we found the Kenkus. No, we're not gonna talk to the no. group of the people. But we're no, not. Gonna. You're not. No, you're not allowed to do but that. But I'm not allowed to do that. There is a lot of things that I try to like. I, I don't want to be mean in like the group, but I'm also like, guys, come on, let's not do that. Come on, can we just like? Get this? And it's like I can't. I try my best. This is the uh, this is the now this... second time that I've gotten dragged yeah, somewhere. Yeah, and I'm like, come on, let's do And I like do want to turn around and want to leave, and I cannot. Leave. And I don't want to be like, no, don't just don't fucking do that. Like, come on. There's a bunch of times where I think honestly, the best answer is just like, no, nah, I'm not gonna go. Yeah. Because people I think, keep wanting to split off, and it's like, all right, here's the clear quest. And then everyone's like, I'm just going to do this thing that relates to something we'll probably never deal and with. And that's my problem is that it does it, – like, it, they get so wrapped up in, like, things uh, that just, like, do not uh, at all – or they're never going to come back. Yeah. And it, it sucks because uh, you get dragged along with it, and it's not I'm really, I'm just like, saying you, you are – Guilty is all charged about this. I don't think so. Am I? I'm I, gonna get drunk in the middle of the campaign. And that's we're not, we were in the okay, inn, though. Okay. Yeah, we were, we're gonna go to the aquarium in the middle of the campaign. Let me. The aquarium. That's part of the library. Yeah, that was part of it. That was part of it. And that was like. Then what is not part of it? What am I missing? Because that didn't seem pertinent to the main story in my we were with the, we had to find yeah. the guy to get to the aquarium who took us to the chamber with the and altar. then it shows how the books Sorry, work nobody knows what yeah. the fuck is going on <laughs> in our campaign but <laughs> there is like it, it, we go off it, we have not done practically five percent of probably the thing and we've had what five sessions of like five hours each. five six sessions i think yeah and it's like oh dude we gotta like focus in on something and it's like, I, I don't know what to say other than being like, okay, guys, this is what we should. And then everyone's like, oh! And then I'm like, because I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I like wait until everyone else just chooses. And then I'm like, I, I, what sounds coolest, yeah. I guess. You know, and I'm like, all right, I, I'll go, I guess I'll go here too. Because it's like hard to like decipher what might be like g getting to something, you know? I have a plan. Uh, AAA uh, has befriended i think is a good way to describe <laughs> it the worst blacksmith in possibly the entire world oh yeah and made him a stroller for his tiny gnome yeah. body yeah he made me a stroller that fell apart when i sat in it and like gets stuck every time it moves yeah it's got like square wheels yeah. he couldn't really round them out he hasn't he hasn't he's, seen he the wheel yet. quite get yeah, that he yeah. doesn't get how wheels work but i have some plans for that stroller <laughs> that stroller is Can we fun. strap like James Bond AK 47s on the stroller? And then every time it hits a bump, it's a. Poof, squish, squish. I had planned, like, the moment you told me the character you had, I was like, we're going to get that boy a gun. 
That's going to be the funniest <laughs> thing. So I pieced together this elaborate plan of like, all right, well, no one in the party is going to know what a gun is or what yeah. it looks like. So when I give it, I can't just say it's a gun. It has to be like a wand of some sort. Yeah, mysterious wand made yeah. out of uh, shiny metal and wood. Is what so I'm describing. describing it to AAA as he gets it. And all of a sudden, someone in the party goes, is that a fucking gun? And I go, silent. As slowly everyone realizes, probably the worst person in the party to have a gun now <laughs> has a, a fucking <laughs> The glicky. most dangerous fucking person in the party. By the way, the whole entire time that I had the gun, I didn't know understand what it was or how to use it. So I'm pointing it at everyone. Like, guys, do you see this shit? I'm like, no gun safety. I'm like, look at this fucking thing. I just got, I'm spinning around my fingers with like, just like pulling the trigger back a little bit. Like, oh, I don't know what this does, but oh, oh, <laughs> like doing dumb shit the whole time. I like how the, in the prophecy, it just mentions eventually you will shoot someone. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Like the vaguest thing it could be. Like, how important is that shot? Which I did shoot someone. Yeah, so maybe it's complete. No, no, it's not. I'm gonna shoot. Jared myself. will kill someone. I'm gonna like shoot myself in the foot on an accident. I'm gonna need Joseph to make me. Which is our black. A new Joseph. robot foot. Yeah, a new robot foot. And he's gonna be like, oh, okay, it's gonna be a stick. I have a. It sucks. I have so many things that like could happen that are so funny, but it's like I can't fucking say it. Yeah, yeah. It sucks that you're the DM. The it's dick master. Funny. Oh, I'm the dick master. The dig master. The, the Why are you looking at me? The, Look the dick monster. I don't want to know. The, the dick maestro. <laughs> dick monsoon. Oh, that's what hit Tokyo in like 2012 when all the white Actually, boys that was like Godzilla. the Chinese women. Oh my god! I went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He mentioned Godzilla. Oh. I saw oh the fire my god. in his eyes. Oh. <laughs> Today I went to Taekwondo with Rachel or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, some something else that Godzilla probably knows. And <laughs> well, that's Korean. Mm. Come on, Ducks. That wasn't you can't leave me hanging. Like that, that was. I have to. And there's this guy. I'm obligated. You're not obligated. Unfortunately. She's <laughs> I'm <obligated>. kidding. <laughs> no, you meant to do that, right? You meant to, you didn't feel obligated. It was funny, right? I never felt obligated to do anything. You have never felt you know pressured to say like yes in a situation. You never say that like. I'm funny. Never. You don't. You don't just say that to make me feel better about myself. He's actually funny, right? The yep. podcast is actually good. We're like yep. doing really good, actually. Sometimes. Yeah. Dude, my mom was asking about the podcast the other day. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. And then she saw the clip where you talking about her butthole. No, I sent her the clip of me burping because oh, I thought yeah. that was funny, and she goes. So like, what's the topic of like, what are your topics? True and crime. I just go. <laughs> I just go. Oh, Ghost stories. we just kind of like. Chit chat. We just kind of like talk. Chit chat. And she goes, yeah. that's cool. Just like random talk. That that rocks. Every time that's someone says. That's literally what she said. Just like dot, dot, dot. That, that rocks. rocks. <laughs> Every time someone says like, what's the topic? I want to punch somebody <clears throat> because it makes me feel like I am a dumbass. And I'm like, you're the dumbass for thinking that I need one. Because look at how cool I am We're now. so fucking funny. I can talk about anything. I've got 30 subscribers on YouTube, bitch. Fuck you. How many subs do you have? Oh, more than 30? Okay, I'll shut the fuck up now. <laughs> <I'm telling them. laughs> Just wait till I get 35. That's like a whole new level. At what point does it like not matter? Trick question. It always matters. I will only gain power. <laughs> does it like not matter when you can no longer see the individual numbers and it just turns into like 100,000? Well, we, I don't think we have to worry Spit. about that. No, <laughs> that's not getting that far. <laughs> you're, you're getting way too Well, expensive. Susan's out of the office soon enough. So Susan soon enough, Majewski. we'll be in here in blackface doing our minstrel shows. <laughs> 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 we still need to do that one little emotion thing. I was just thinking about that. The what? The sports. The, the, we, the, oh, my the, God. Yeah, I know. We got to plan a day to do that. We really do because that's so cool. There's a very, a very big video project. I that think we we've got. talked about it. Yeah, I think bit. so. We, I found something at a little thrift store that's really funny. It's like a Chinese knockoff of a Wii. Oh. Um, and we're going to do a big research and like <sighs> testing video into it because I've never heard about it and I can't find any information on it. I so. definitely – I want to go hard into the research. Yeah. I feel like that's – I think we're going to need like – we're going to need – definite like google doc open yeah. like, just like bullet points with like calculate like different categories of p talking points on it <laughs> it's gonna be like an actual it's gonna be like we're actually doing videos it's i'm like, like eddie burback look at me i'm eddie now i'm pewdiepie Wait, i want to be nakey jakey i'm nakey jakey Who's now nakey jakey 
Oh, you don't know Nicky J? I've heard that name. I don't know who He's it is. He's friends with Eddie Burback. I is he friends like with PewDiePie? No. He wasn't on the bridge that day. <laughs> In fact, I was. And I was I w- actually PewDiePie that could day. Could you imagine? Could you fucking imagine being the person PewDiePie dropped the N bomb on? I would never shut the fuck up if I found that out I was the one on that bridge. If I was the one that made him do it. Dude. Sorry, I burped again. If I was the one that made PewDiePie drop an N bomb and lose his Disney contract. That it's he had a Disney contract? Yeah. yeah. Well, with Maker Studios. It was like, oh, it was like right. his old partnership, right? Oh, or whatever think... it's called. The... Oh, weren't they doing scare? They were doing the scare PewDiePie shit, right? Yeah, yeah. What are they called? Uh, uh, uh... YouTube Red or whatever? No, no. They're the, 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 the partnerships. They're called like something. The channel, whatever the fuck. Channel Awesome? Yeah, Channel Awesome. He remembers it, so oh you don't God. have to. No, and it's like one of those studios that pays the creators or whatever. And uh, Maker Studios was a giant one. It was owned by Disney, I think. Is what, I think it was Maker. And they were doing all those like YouTube shows, like Markiplier in Space and like all that shit. Like Jacksepticeye goes to America. They yeah, space. they sent PewDiePie to L.A. You're to gonna film, send a like, national treasure up shit. there. Yeah. yeah, and then all of them are bad. Like, they were never uh, really no that shit. good. And then they flopped. Um, <laughs> and then Maker, like, no collapsed because they just kept banning all their creators for, like, saying, like, stupid things. That's like what happens when you take just, like, pictures. you know, normalized people and put them in Disney. Yeah. You know? They can't be Jake and Logan Paul all the time. <sighs> Not everyone's that talented. Yeah. Not everyone can dance on TikTok very well. <sighs> what does Jake Paul do now? Fight? Which- Box? Which one's which? Jake Paul's the boxer. Logan Paul's the WWE one. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm Do serious. they actually have like a like yes. Yes. one conjoined yes. brain? Yeah. yeah. They're like I the same so. person. Well, Logan Paul always follows Jake. Like Logan's older, I think, but Jake Paul's more successful. And mm. so anything Jake does, Logan Paul's like, let me do something that's adjacent to it, but not the same. So like Jake Paul was like, I'm gonna do boxing. And then Logan goes, Fuck it. I'm going to the WWE. And they were like, Yes, yes, Logan. Yes, like zero training. They just let him in there. They push wants. him yeah. so fucking hard in WWE. They, it's, awesome. It is the most he, horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. He's maybe wrestled like, what, six matches? And they've all been at like the biggest pay-per-views. Uh-huh. Does he win? Uh, Yeah. What the, the one fuck? time he won, yeah. yeah. The one time he actually did win, yeah. yeah. He did. He did do some cool shit at the Royal there was, Rumble. Yeah, there was he, he like one cool thing. Uh, there is right. this, there is this um, ricochet. This one wrestler named Ricochet. Who does, she was going to describe something about him that we can't say very loud. He does these crazy moves because he's of a certain, um, you know, um, he has certain attributes. And uh, he, like, they jumped off the little thing and they, like, slammed in midair. It was yeah, kind of cool. It was pretty cool. It was kind of cool. Like frogs. Yeah. Logan Paul kind of looks like a frog. Have you seen his ugly Dude, fucking his face? eyes are so oh, fucking oh, yeah. far apart. I love that picture of him with the little uh, the little hat yeah. from Toy Story on. He's going, oh my God. He's looking at the, the suicide, suicide force. Yeah, yeah. About- Jinx, you owe me a blowjob. <laughs> he- oh. You know what's funny is that the camera can see under the table a little bit. So imagine I whip out your dick. I'm like, blur this. Actually start giving me fellatio. <laughs> oh. I'm like, oh shit. Oh my God, this is such a good bit. I've never done this before. That'd be good. I would love to do a bit like that. It's like in real life. So what time are we at? Oh, we we're way past thirty minutes. Yeah. Way past cool. So many brands to go. That's what. Oh my God, Zilla story. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so what? The okay. Taekwondo. Anyways, what was that at? Uh, Forty-three minutes. Cut All right, that, cut it. Cut, cut that it. joke out. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Taekwondo. What do, what do you do if I do cut that joke out? It's pretty good. Can you see my foot? You can tell it's my foot. I may have to make sure to hide my feet. No, you don't. <laughs> no one cares. Come on. I know they're good. All right. We're gonna sell them. <laughs> I've been making a little bit of money on the sideline. <laughs> anyway, Godzilla. So. Go to Taekwondo. There's this guy <laughs> and a Godzilla shirt. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. There's a guy in this Godzilla <laughs> shirt. Simon, don't do that. Guy in a Godzilla shirt. And his name is Wes. Borland. I miss a million red flags. And I'm like, oh, he's wearing a Godzilla shirt. He's got to be cool. I walk up to him. I'm like, hey, nice Godzilla shirt. And he goes, I'm Wes. Oh, sticks no. his hand out. I'm like, all right, yeah, uh, cool Godzilla shirt. And he's like, oh, yeah, this one. Like, yeah, yeah, that one. 
Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I got it at this website one. called AliExpress. Oh. oh. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. All right, red flags are clicking oh, right now, no. but I'm like, all right. And he's like, I'm going to get another one. Like, oh, another Godzilla one. <laughs> he's like, no, it's like the Joker, but it says the Choker. Oh, and I was Bubba. like, okay, and I just walked away. He's got a big dick, and it says the choker. And then I will never talk to that man again. It's like those life. Punisher stickers that are like Punisher, and then underneath it says Punish Her. Oh my God, we saw the coolest car of all time the other day. We but pull like, up to the exit it's of the highway. Choker, but it says under, or uh, choke choker, and then underneath it says Choke Her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. dude, we I pulled up behind sticker. a car on the fucking highway exit the other day, and. It had eight Punisher stickers on the back of it. One on the windshield. And there was one that said Punisher and then it said Punish Her. And then his license plate, like the little tiny metal strip that runs above it. Like not the whole license plate, but just right above it. Just right above. It said just like, Punisher. Just like not and the it was whole like engraved thing, but in like metal. just right above. And then there was another Punisher sticker right there. And there was like a Punisher decal over like the, when the lights on Punisher sure. Funko and Pop. I was like, dude, that guy... <laughs> That guy kills black people. Like he he's himself, probably he's never watched he anything. He himself Punisher. was no. the Punisher. Oh, fuck. I yeah. love the Punisher guys because they definitely are racist. Yeah. There's no other reason I love to like going the Punisher. Up to them being like, what's the Punisher's name? Uh, uh, the Punisher. I think it's Kyle Rittenhouse, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <gasps> you can't say that. <laughs> we go uh, there? You can't yeah. say like yeah, right the after you said. <laughs> It's I Kyle can... Written Cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Kyle Written Cut. That's what they call this podcast, <laughs> Kyle Written Cut. All right, fucking scrap it. Right, fuck this episode.